Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to Automobilista for another race in the V8 Supercars. Now this is race 2 of 2 this weekend in what is sort of my recreation of the Winton Super Sprint that is taking place in real life this weekend in the Virgin Australia Supercars Championship. Race 1 yesterday we managed to score a win. It was a Nissan 1-2 alongside our teammate Rick Kelly. So as per usual we are in the Nissan Car Sales Ultima. So for race two, it's a little bit longer, it's 34 laps, which is around half of what it is in real life, so we'll have to make two pit stops throughout the race, and we have managed to score a pole again, although only by one tenth of a second, so it is not going to be easy. The difference being in this race compared to race one, I am starting on the harder tyre, so we are not going to have anywhere near as much pace as what we did at the beginning of the first race. The goal is simple, and that is to keep these guys behind me for as long as possible. They're going to be right on our tail for quite a while. If we can just make it 10 laps into the race, make it to the first pit stop, still in a good position, then we should be able to fight for the win for the last sort of remaining two stints to the checkered flag. So Winton Raceway is the destination. This is a track in country Victoria, which is sort of the southern part of Australia, if you don't know the country all that well. It's actually a really neat little country club track. It's actually a test track that is used quite frequently by all the supercar teams throughout the year. There's plenty of runoff and plenty of corners to sort of test things on the car. And for young and up and coming drivers, it's quite a popular track that they go and use alongside sort of Wakefield Park, which is the New South Wales equivalent. So just rounding out this formation lap will be off and away so we'll just wait for the automobilista AI to take three years to form up as per usual and then we'll be off and away I overshot my box. There we go, sweet. Yeah, no, I do, I do really like this track. It's quite fun and flowing. It's very hard on the tyre. I'm not sure if it's that way in real life, but on Automobilista and the Sim, it is quite hard on the tyre, so we have to manage these Dunlops as best we can. If we can just make it 10 laps into the first pit stop, we should be fine, because on the soft tyre yesterday, we had quite a lot of pace. But as it would seem in the qualifying session earlier this morning, the AI is a little bit quicker now that the track's more rubbered in. I sort of have a progressive track state throughout the weekend. So the track gets quicker and quicker the more rubber that goes down. Alright, just waiting for the rest of the field to form up. It takes forever on this sim for some reason for the AI to form up. Anyway, alright, here we go. Race 2, 34 laps.
car does not like the hard tire. Oh no! Wow, that must have been a late lunge. Ow! Oh my god. Wow. That just happened. Are you serious? I am not out of this race on lap three. Oh my god. What the actual fuck just happened? Who? What? What? Wow! Again, I have DNF'd race two. What the hell? What the hell was that? Oh my god, my luck this season in the feature races has been just ridiculous. I can't believe that just happened again. Can we get a replay? What the hell? Oh my god, we had such a good start. I just needed to get to lap 10 on this hard tyre, then I could have pulled away. I can't believe that just happened. Is that... Tander or Moffat? Because if it's Tander, then it makes sense as to who it was. <laughs> Late lunge. Straightened up. Nailed by the Holden. Nailed by another Holden. Oh my god. Well, and that was all she wrote. Alright guys, well there you have it. That is uh, a very short-lived feature race here on Sunday in the V8 Supercars at Winton. I just can't believe that happened. For those that are new to my channel and are probably disappointed by the way I'm ending the video and not restarting the race, I do like to keep my sort of sim racing as realistic as possible so I don't restart or do any resets like a lot of other YouTubers do and whatnot. I'd, I'd like to keep it sort of as real as possible so this is as you see it, how you see it. So I, yeah, I, had, I just can't believe it <laughs> happened on lap three. I mean, the problem was there was a whole pack of cars behind us which had nowhere to go on the, I mean, I know that I speak like they're real life drivers, but I do like to feel like it's real life. I mean, it's just, it is AI and it is Automobilista, so what else do you expect? But anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, tuning in I just yeah I'm a bit lost for words right now that really sucks I mean I don't quite have the time to go restart these races and and yeah I don't I don't like to go restarting every five seconds but there's nothing else I could do there just taken out and we'll move on to the next one all right guys stay tuned for the Indy 500 that's coming up on iRacing here in a sec it's another awesome iRacing special event that I like to take part in so if you're into IndyCar and you like the Indy 500, definitely stay tuned for that. It's the fastest online sim race in the world. So going to be plenty action, plenty more action, I should say, coming the way on this channel throughout the weekend. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, I'll catch you later.